Hello, welcome to another episode of the Daily Telegraph NRL podcast. Adam Mobbs here with Fatima Kadu and Brent Reid and needing a Xavier Coates type effort out oh. of you today, mate. <laughs> Not sure I'm, I'm as athletic as Xavier. Ex- Xavier? Is it Xavier? It's yeah, Xavier, yeah. It's yeah, Xavier yes, right? Xavier. Xavier, yeah. Xavier. Not sure. But well, I've got a son. Back in my pomp, Xavier. So back in, oh, yeah. mm. back in my mm. pomp, I, I reckon I. Maybe could have pulled that off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a With my little arms. Arms. Yeah. Don't you have some? Um, don't you have a, a famous soccer league story, ASL story, and a yeah. self story? <laughs> not, <laughs> not like that. Not like that. No, not like Does that. it rain? No, no, not quite the same. Honestly, it was incredible. I was yeah. um, I was watching it at home, and I <laughs> literally gasped, and both my hands covered my mouth because I was in shock for a couple yeah. of seconds to it's just i think the hang time as well and how high he got made it so yeah. much more theatrical there's no way but he got it down there's no way he got it down there's no way his other hand wasn't in touch there's no way he kept control and he yep. did all those things i'll tell you how good that try was even my wife was impressed <laughs> she hates watching footy <laughs> and i said to her come and watch this you gotta see this and she came around and looked and went wow it was wow. not feigning interest no she found a little bit of interest <laughs> but yeah. i mean they're so good. We talk about it all the time, don't we? How good wingers are at getting those, yeah. contorting their bodies and yep. getting scoring tries like that. I mean, he's a specialist at it. Yep. Um, Dom Young's a genius at mm. it. Um, they're all good at it now. I've, I've found it really interesting, Brisbane. And we know they practice it. Um, a training, right? Mm. But he spoke about that afterwards. They got a big blue mat apparently at in Melbourne. They pull it out, and the winger runs along, and someone pushes yeah, him, yeah. and he tries and twists and get the ball down. It'd be good Jeez. video for you. Yeah. We should get that, that for the website. That's Mobsy? Yeah. yeah. Well, why aren't we onto yeah. it? We'll ask yeah. him. We'll ask yeah. him today. It's like, but, those, um, it's like those great big tackle pads that you have yes. on the back, where they yeah. climb up AFL style to yeah. take the marks. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. What, and it's, it's one of those things I think um, Craig Bellamy mentioned in the post match. Like this is something that Xavier does after each training session. Yeah. So it's it's the effort. Like yes, all wingers train it, but they're also putting in the extras for when the moment does come. Uh, they can make it count. Geez, I doubted the Warriors, eh? Oh. So much a better team in the second half. Weren't they? Like Melbourne, should have, they shouldn't have been. Well, they weren't in that game, were they? It yeah. took a miracle to win it, but mm. the Warriors were so good in the second half of that game. Yeah. They just dominated Melbourne. They, mm. they kicked into gear, didn't they? When They were behind early and thought, oh, here we go. Yeah. And then no, not a great record down there, and then fought back, then, okay, well, here they go, and then pushed it wide. And, and look, from uh, Dallin Watney as a Lesniak's, Point of view, did the right thing, you know. Get, you know, have, yeah. have a push at him, knock him. In. This, you know, you miss that ninety nine times out of a hundred if you if you're a winger. But mm. unbelievable. Is it the best you've seen? Best try you've seen, or what? It's the best finish I've seen. I, I think. think it's yeah. the most um, theatrical sort yeah. of try I've seen. Like it's definitely on the highlights reel for for Vegas. You know, next year, yeah. <laughs> for, yeah. for next year. But um, you know who hasn't received enough credit in all of this is probably Remus Smith. Yeah. Like he. That ball to Xavier was just perfectly timed. Time, like a, a, yeah. a lot, uh, you know, he makes sure that he has enough space to be able to do what he does there. So yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a well executed play all round. Mm-hmm. There's, there's something different about Melbourne this year. Don't you get that feeling? I get that different, good or bad? Good, good. I reckon, <laughs> so, I reckon in the last couple of years they've there's just been a feeling they're a bit maybe fragile or. But I reckon you look at those first two weeks, Penrith, they just played with real grit and mm. steel and mm. toughed it out. And this game, even though they were dominating the second half, yep. they just found a way to win. You know, and yep. you know, Ryan Pappenhausen just gives them something different, doesn't mm. he? I mean, he sort of inspired them and brought them back into that game. And then, you know, just the, the belief and the athleticism mm. without Munster, no Munster, no, no, no big, big Nelson. Yeah. Um, they're finding a way to get it done. Mm. Yeah. And that, that's the worry for opposition teams when, when you're not playing great footy and you're still eking out wins. Yeah. You bank those competition points. And I don't know who had them finishing outside the four this year, but that's a reason that they are Was always in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, would, you wouldn't have been nine. You haven't been the eight? <laughs> yes. Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. um, but top be, four. Did you have them outside the four? I think I might have. Yeah, oh, I had wow. Manly outside of the top eight, so I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Last mm. week, I think I tipped one from eight. So Storm um, Man was rock solid as always. <laughs> 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 um, it'll be interesting this week, though, because Jerome Hughes has, has been charged yeah. with a grade two contrary conduct on, on Chris Butler for that shove. So, and Cam Munster's sort of still a week to week proposition. Um, Peasant's going good though. Peasant's mm. going good. Going really good. Peasant's going good, but yeah. you know, all of a sudden it's round three, and you might not have either Hughes or Monster. Mm. So Who have they got this week? Newcastle. Knights. Knights. Yeah. Huge yeah. game. 
huge yeah. game. There's there's so many this week. That's um, in Newcastle, right? That yeah, game? yeah, yeah. So, um, l- and that that's the Sunday evening game. So a lot lot on lot at stake there. Mm. Um, Want to talk uh, St George Illawarra? Um, <laughs> I'm going to put my hand up and say I was guilty of drinking the Dragon's Kool-Aid. <laughs> Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, gets the best of we're, we're re- That's like the Tiger's Kool-Aid. Yeah, we'll I drank a bit of that Tiger's last Kool-Aid year. Kool-Aid the Dragon's Kool-Aid. <laughs> Revitalised under Shane Flanagan. <laughs> They're going to go home 2-0 yeah. and to Cogra and do the Queensland sweep. And then, but I just forgot. They're the Dragons. They're the Dragons. <laughs> yeah. And they were... Look, and... That, and Flano said he was... He was... What do you say? He wasn't worthy of a, of a Red Dragon beige, jumper. Red jumper, um, yeah. Yeah. You know, they were <coughs> terrible. What about um, the Hammer. Hamaso, Tabio Ifado, three tries. A um, couple of try assists from Jack Bostock, Wollongong Jr., yeah. who's gone up to the mm. Dolphins for an opportunity. Thought he was really good. Um, Josh Kerr, another former Dragon, mm. ran for 157 metres. I thought was another one really good. And that right edge of St George Illawarra's was paper thin. Um, highlighted. Jaden Sewer missed seven tackles in that mm. game. He's off contract, Jaden Sewer, too. Mm. Hasn't yeah. agreed a new deal yet. Yeah. He's got an off on the table f- from the Dragons. I uh, mean, he was one of the players that looked like he was rejuvenated yeah. in the trials yeah. in the first week. So all of a sudden, <coughs> um, yeah, things look like the way we expected them to go for the for the Dragons this year. Um, Is I that Zach Lomax on that wing getting mm-hmm. caught out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And around they go. And yeah, I mean, to, on the flip side to that, he did have another big game. Zach Lomax, plenty of runs, plenty of meters, but mm. defensively they were pretty fragile. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I wonder whether they they bought a bit of their own hype last week. You know, everyone had them as wooden spooners. Uh, they you know they saw what the Dolphins dished up the week before, which wasn't that great. But I think if you're going to go in, into a game being that cocky, you at least have to earn a bit of that before. Mm. Yeah. You know, um, and you know, this is a Wayne Bennett coach side. Like the odds that they were going to deliver two pretty poor performances weren't that great, especially at home. Yeah, mm. well, so. it was a reminder that the job Shane Flanagan's got in front mm. of him. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't turn that around in one week. What that club's been for so long, um, and they just got exposed by a team that turned up and wanted it more. Yeah, yeah. and and you know, we're looking to bounce back from last week at the Hammer. I mean. The hammer was diabolical the week before. Yeah. Di- and he got yeah. somehow, he got a, somehow he got a Dally M point. <laughs> <laughs> he was yep. terrible. He, he should get all six this week because <laughs> he was so good. He, well, he only got five. He only got five. The one got one the week. Well, that compensates, doesn't it? But, I mean, he was, di- he was terrible the week before. So, so unlike <laughs> him. But, um, man, when he gets an open space, yeah. he's good to watch, isn't he? He is good to watch, um, yeah. I wonder, it'll be interesting to see what... Um, Flanagan does this week because he's made you know he's been very open about the fact that he's looking to rebuild the roster that everybody's fighting for their spots I don't know how like what sort of depth they have for him to be making any real changes but it'll be interesting to see whether he does make some changes heading into heading into this week well been interesting what he does with Jade Suri missed seven tackles and as mm. I said he's off contract and hasn't mm. taken an offer they've gotten the table for him mm. whether he gives him a spell after that performance mm. um, you know they, they've got a lot of work to do yeah. yeah, a lot yeah. of work to do. Um, yeah, it just and you know. F- uh, f- he wasn't the only one though. I been think Ben Hunt missed about five or six tackles, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, he made a few errors, Ben Hunt, but mm. he was again just working his backside off, kicked yeah. that forty twenty, um, tried <laughs> tried his best. Yeah. Um, so uh, Francis Molo got sin bin laid on for that. Mm. You know, trying to put a hit on with two minutes to go, way too little, too late to try and motivate your troops at that stage. But yeah. obviously, born out of frustration, given how poorly they played, um, you know, yeah, a lot of work to do. And especially you're playing a cowboy side that bounced back to form, yeah. well, bounced back form, um, bounced back after they were trailing early and, and came back and knocked off the Knights in a heartbreaker. For if you're a Newcastle fan, they weren't great though. I watched that game. I didn't think mm. the Cowboys were great in that game. No, um, but they just got a lot of points of attack haven't they they can mm. beat you so many ways the Cowboys mm. um, lost Helam Lukey which is a bit sad because he had real yeah. injury problems Helam Lukey but they got that young kid Fina Fanuki yep. yep. I think I got it right who's a superstar um, and you know I think if the Dragons turn up like that again oh. they'll lose by 50 yeah. Yeah. Because, this, because this Cowboys side they can put points on you mm. like Val Holmes is going to play as bad as he did again next week you guarantee you that mm, and they mm. still got away with it so um yeah it's a real worry for shane flanagan they've got to weigh him up yeah mm. what about for the dolphins and i've got to mention um jake Averulo left out round one mm. brought back in round two thought he played really well uh, defensively made a couple of poor decisions mm. but i mean they kept a clean sheet so that's fine but um if you're the bulldogs 
And you know, Buzz did that yarn a few weeks ago about all the players they've cycled through in the last four, four or five years, and the, the general feedback has been, oh well, they weren't <laughs> successful, they needed to clean house. But Jeremy Marshall, King, Jake Avarillo were two very good players, I thought yesterday. And you know, you go you go to Belmore this week for the the annual Belmore game at the Bulldogs, and there's a local junior there who could have been running out for him in a centre spot, but he'd be moved from fullback to five eight to mm. centre to the mm. bench mm. Um, at Canterbury. No one could find a spot for him, and then you know he's going to go to the Dolphins now, and much like maybe Luke Brooks at the Tigers, mm. going from the Tigers to the Eagles, you're going to see him really explode this season. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. I always liked Jake Avrilo as a player. I thought he was, like you said, a little bit hard done by with, with the way they used him. And a lot of it was out of desperation, right? So, yeah. you know, if, if it didn't work in the halves, he was shifted into the centre. When they needed something extra in the foot at, at the back, he was, you know, named at fullback. And I, I don't think he really had the chance to show his potential because he wasn't locked down into a spot that I don't think he probably wanted. I think in the end he wanted to be a half. Mm. Um you know, but and now he, he has a shot at the Dolphins at centre. Um, look, it's it's a it's a strange one because if you look at um, you know both Avarillo and, and Jeremy Marshall King, and of course there's Paul Alamotti as well, who's a local junior, and they mm. let go, and he's just been re-signed at Penrith, and you know I can imagine he's going to be hopefully producing some pretty good things under that system there. So that's sort of like a you know a double blow for them. But you know they went from. Uh, Jeremy Marshall King to read Marnie like when that initially happened if you're if you're a Canterbury fan you would have thought yep that's an upgrade yeah right uh, even though mm. he was one of their best players when before he left initially you're thinking that's an upgrade now you're probably thinking Oof, you know Reed Marnie's got fe- feels like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders he's trying too hard he's getting into you know he's always a little bit niggly there um, and it's probably the same thing with Avarillo you know you lose Avarillo but you've got Stephen Crichton coming in so you're thinking oh this is a bit of an upgrade so yeah, yeah it's a it's a interesting one I, I, I don't know like I I think only time will tell whether the Dolphins have made a, a good call with Jake Avarillo. But, um, yeah, I always rated him. I always thought he was a good player and, and probably was forced to play out of position for far too long in that in that side. Mm. Mm. Yeah, dear me. Um, what about um, South Sydney? Mm. <laughs> that grunt of a bit going on, concern, isn't it? disapproval. <laughs> a bit going on um, there. Look, that, were, that wasn't a great game against no. the Broncos. The Broncos... No. 28 18 winners um again yeah too good for them but yeah. um yeah no, i don't think either played great and no. owen two going into a, a roosters game uh, jared's 300th mm. so they will be fired up especially uh, after roosters. going down to manly yeah and in geez that was a, a meek second half for the for the roosters which mm. you know manly on fire but um yeah w- w- what do you make of south at the moment uh, well, it's clear they're battling, right? They've got a lot of players out. Joy Arrow, Jack Whiten. Uh, Whiten's back this week. Whiten's That's back. huge for them. Mm. Um, but they just look... They've got a lot of players who just aren't playing well. Yeah. You know, everyone's pointing the finger at Lachlan Ilias. Cody Walker's been bang average the first two weeks. Yeah. Mm. Um, they're struggling in the middle of the park. They're getting dominated. I mean, they, Br- Brisbane... Do- but Paddy Carrigan and Payne Haas just rolled through the middle of the field. Mm. on Thursday night. Um, they've got no speed out wide. They can just fly, hammered out wide because they obviously no Campbell Graham, no Toro Munro. Mm. There's just flaws everywhere at the moment, that side. Yeah. yeah. 62% look, completion rate in that yeah. game for Souths. Um, you know, mm. it's... It I, I, I do feel, honestly, I do feel a bit for Lachlan Elias because oh. people forget sort of where he is in, in his development as a halfback, but also... He's in a spine that has Cody Walker, yeah. Damian Cook, and Latrell. Like, if you're a young kid coming into grade and you're walking into that spine, you're probably thinking, okay, I- I'm in safe hands here. You know, yes. uh, there's there's enough class and talent in that spine to be taking pressure off him as he sort of finds his feet in the NRL. Yeah. But that sort of hasn't happened. And somehow it's all fallen back on the most inexperienced side uh, uh, player in the spine. Like yeah. you said, rather than sort of, you know, focusing or, or turning the microscope on, you know, Cookie or, or, or um, Cody Walker. So I sort of, I, I do feel sorry for him. Like I, I understand yeah. he wears a number seven, I get that. But you would have thought the number seven in that spine, you know, that should be the best education for him in his development. But it, all of a sudden, you know, 
two rounds in and the pressure, the blowtorch is back on him and whether, you know, he should be in that side. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, Jason's been an outspoken supporter of him for a mm. long time, right? And said he'd be better than Adam Reynolds, didn't he, last year? Yeah. But JD's under immense pressure as well. Mm. You know, I don't know if you saw the Josh Mansour interview at the weekend where Josh basically hammered him on the on the hot, on the buy round with Jimmy Graham, um, was scathing in his criticism of, of JD. Now, you know, obviously it didn't end well for Josh there, mm. so he's going to ha have a... Um, a different view of A things. different view of JD, mm -hmm. but I mean... We all... Uh, J at the start of the season, everyone said, if things don't start well at South, the coach can be under pressure. Yep. They've gone 0-2. The way it's looking, they'll probably go 0-3. Um, and the walls are closing in. Mm. And he's, he's, it's, he's in a battle for survival right now. Mm. Well, um, after two rounds. So basically everything goes out the window, right? Mm. You know, he's committed himself to Lachlan Ilias. Um, and, you know, it sounds like Lachlan's under pressure to hold his place in the team. Well, how does he justify that? How does the yeah. coach justify that when he's mm. been so publicly outspoken in support mm. of the guy? Yeah. And what's it going to do to him if the coach turns around and, and axes him now? Yeah. Like, what yeah. message is that going to send to Lachlan? And, and that's, you know, you look at South's left edge. They they desperately need Jack White in there, yeah. don't they? So, you know, if he comes back in, he's, you think centre would be their glaring Well, I think need. he's trained at centre all, mm. all yeah. off-season. Yeah. He's trained only at centre. Mm. Yeah. He has trained only at centre, but when I, when I spoke to JD in the pre-season about all that stuff, he sort of was reluctant to say that that's where Jack Wyden's home would be. You know, he said, yes, he has trained at centre and that's how I see him at this point. But if for whatever reason, you know, that changes or what he needs changes, then um, you never know. So, I don't know, I just think even just having Jack Wyden in that side, like, you know, I, I think he gives them... A bit of a, a boost, a, a bit of confidence. He's such a um, like aggressive sort of power player. Um, you know, like you said, sort of their forwards were struggling for go forward. So hopefully, you know, he's the kind of player who can help with momentum um, from the backfield with his carries, and he will get his hands on the ball if they get him quick early ball um, out at centre. So I don't know. I think it's a big ask to sort of be. Uh, you know, hanging their hopes on on Jack Wyden. Yes, incredible player, but him at centre. That's a that's true. A lot of expectation for him going into this, especially this really big game, that he's going to be you know the reason they turn things around in a number three jumper. Mm. It, fe it feels like it feels like the coach has lost. I would not lost the dressing room. Be or careful. Or <laughs> no, no, I won't say that again. <laughs> but almost like he's lost control. Do and you yeah. think? Well, look at Latrell after that, that interview but he did after the I game. You know? But it's, see, it that's the... It feels Go. like the... the it, it doesn't feel like... Um, it's hard to say. It's hard to... I, you know yeah, what I'm trying uh, yeah, to go yes, with? It feels like the, there's, there's big personalities there and big egos mm. and, 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 mm. and great football players and he's, he's trying to keep everything under control and it's so hard. Sam yeah. Burgess and John Morris left last season yeah. f uh, un f uh, with the narrative of a very similar theme. Yeah. Mm. Well, that, it feels like it, that's what it feels like. No, I don't know. I haven't spoken to yeah. JD about it or yeah. I'm not close enough to know you know what it's like in there i'm not around them every day but mm. that's what it feels like from the outside for me it feels like the outside looking in yeah and 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 he's got to find a way to pull it all back together because it feels feels like it's fraying at the edges right it feels like it's falling apart a little bit mm. Mm. what were you gonna say for Timmy? no i was gonna say I, I don't know whether uh, definitely big personalities i don't know whether there's big egos as such um but definitely big vocal personalities um it, just with Latrell's uh, rant uh, post match on, on the radio, or not, a, or whatever you want to call it. Um, on I, Brent Reid's own Triple M. On oh, Brent Reid's own yeah. Triple M. I hold you the personally Dobbo. responsible. It was a Dobbo oh, that was a Dobbo's fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, Spencer was your fault. <laughs> 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 um, you know, I think you know Latrell's that kind of personality where it doesn't matter who was his coach. You know, he probably does give that same sort of interview whether it was Robbo coaching him JD coaching him Wayne coaching him yeah. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, okay. you know, cuz yeah. you know Wayne's that kind of coach who wants players to be themselves and all coaches want players to be themselves. You know, I reckon maybe if Latrell had his time over he probably will rethink it but um Would yeah. He? yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, uh, a question for you. Do you think Latrell do you Can think we a bit of breaking news? Yeah. Okay. yeah. 
I think Lachlan Lewis has been dropped this week, wow. dropped from the team. So okay. that news will come out, come out obviously officially tomorrow, but um, there's a bit of mail around that Elias is gone. So right. He's obviously, it sounds like Juddie so, has made that decision. So Whiten in or Dean Hawkins up from reserve grade? How, how do they... Don't know mm. Don't know. Um, it looks, looks like Hawkins at seven, so... Wow. Mm. Okay. Big news. It wow. It is big news. What about that? It is big news. And but again, one of those... Baptism of fire, too, up against the Roosters. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. But one of those, as Reedy said, one of those decisions that's really, really going to put the the spotlight back on, on J- JD again. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see whether he is tempted to chuck Jack Wyden in the halves. You know, Reedy said Hawkins. That's probably a more like-for-like replacement. But a big call, and also a big call in the context of Ilias's career at that club mm. too. Yeah. You know, so... You know, remember a couple of years ago, he famously hooked him and that caused a whole, um, you know, whole kerfuffle. And since then, like you said, he's come in and backed him as the guy who's going to lead them, um, you know, into the promised land. But two rounds in, he's been dropped. Yeah. Jeez, that's big news. And um, just as I was saying on Latrell, do you think he's taking on too much? I don't, I, and, and I don't want this to sound flippant because, um, you know, he's he's charged with carrying South on his shoulders at the moment because, mm. you know, as we've seen that Ilias hasn't been playing great, yep. um, Cody Walker hasn't been playing great, Latrell's been trying trying hard. He has, um, yeah. He was the first one to come out and say the inner better do something about the Ezra Mam Spencer Lenu's racism stuff. He then went toe-to-toe with Anthony Mundine on social media. He scores his 100th career try, which he's obviously happy about, then he drops five F-bombs in 12 seconds, whatever, you know, whatever it is. But... Is there too much? Is there too much going on or anybody? Or is this the responsibility of Latrell as he's the face of the game? And mm. obviously, he wants to he wants to champion Indigenous rights, which mm. you you know, and we applaud him for it. I'm not saying not to do that in any stretch, but he's he's dealing with a lot outside of just playing football. Yeah, I think I, I do tend to agree with you. I think for anybody else who isn't Latrell, it feels like a lot. It, it might be getting to a point where, you know, you could say from the outside looking in, is it becoming a burden for Latrell? Mm. Um, just on the, the footy side of things, he has been trying his guts out, but it just, you know, it, he can't do it all on himself. And, 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 this, and the, I think the record is they Sorry. win 70 plus, 70 plus percent games with him and then that drops without him. So mm. he is really important to that footy team. Um, in terms of taking on, you know, being a voice and an advocate off the field, I think he relishes that. And I think he finds purpose in that. So, and they're the, they're the kind of things that are actually going to make him a better footballer on the field. Has he got it perfect all the time? No. You know, he's still quite young too. How old is a troll? 25, 26? Yeah, he's yeah. You know. You're in the vet. Like you're around yeah. the time. Uh, I, think, I think by that age, you've, the your maturity level's got to be right up there. Not saying that no, yeah, there's, no, been, there's, there's been yeah. a lot going on in his life. Now, right? Twenty-six, right up there. There's been a lot going off. He, he's an emotional guy, Latrell, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and it feels like the weekly in that game, he was just everywhere, and yeah. com- and 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 maybe that uh, uh, that's just the emotion. Mm-hmm. He's an emotional guy, right? And yeah. Well, that's part. Of, that's one of the things we love yeah. about him. He you know, wears his heart in his sleeve a bit, and mm. he's so outspoken. Um, but you know that that interview wasn't. That wasn't mm. great. I, I don't. I didn't like it. I don't think it was. You know, I always think about my kids in moments like that. You know, it's t- ten o'clock at night mm. or whatever. Like ten thirty. My kids aren't watching the footy anyway. Yeah. But um, you know. But if you drop you just don't, the game you don't or anything, need, or it's just unnecessary. Yeah. It was unnecessary. I've dro- I think mm. I've dropped a couple of um, yeah. f bombs when I've been talking to you. Or you, oh, I got my kids in the car. I'm like, I'm oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just unnecessary, right? Fatima. Yeah, I know. Goodness. <laughs> and it was excessive. And I don't. I don't know. And the other thing was the celebration of the hundredth try. Like yeah. I was watching that, I was watching the end of that game, and when he was scoring, he pointed at the camera. I thought, what, "What are you doing? Like, why? Mm. Why are you celebrating this?" Yeah. And then yeah. I re- afterwards, he obviously announced it was his hundredth try. But even yeah. so, I mean, mm. yeah, that perpetuates this image that he's bigger than the team. That it's yeah. about that's me. Not, it's that's a, it's yeah, about the, point, the yeah. me rather than the we. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. the and that's the allegation that's but always the thing made. Is, as long as as long as the bunnies rely so much on him being there to win games, yeah. you know, he's almost well, not the only the team, but good from yeah, the exactly. Right. I mean, yeah. yeah, you know, so maybe Jack coming back will help, but, you know, I, I really feel for Lachlan Elias. Yeah. Mm. He's a really good young kid yeah. um, who's been put in a difficult situation 
you know. um, Where to now for him, Rady? Do you well, reckon that sort of is, it's sort of you know, I think puts the a message question is, mark The message is go back and own reserve grade, but, you know, that, mm. what, what does that do for him? Mm. Like, really? Yeah. I mean, how are you going to go back and own reserve grade? Mm. Really? You know, I, I hope, I don't know, I don't know where to, I'd like, I don't know where to for him, really. I mean, JD's obviously made a really difficult decision, and I, and I don't think it's a good one. I think it's a bad decision because I think it's going to break the kid to an extent. Mm. Mm. Um, but I think he's shown he's he's a tough guy, right? And he'll find a way back. But I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. and this is a team last week where you saw, I don't think it was Lachlan Ilias' mm. fault that Brisbane really tormented that edge defence of theirs. They went down Richie Kenner's side a lot. Yeah. And look, they were having a field day. They're so then. short out. They're so short out wide, yeah. them, mm. aren't they? Mm. You know, Campbell Graham, Jack White on either side. You put them in, and it looks like a different footy team. Yeah, you know. And you got Munro on the wing, which gives them some speed, speed. which they really lack speed at the moment. Correct. Mm. And you know, and and now. And also, both of those two guys, Campbell Graham and White, are pretty good defenders. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. which would help? Lock, uh, Lock mm. Ilias, yeah. right? Mm. Don't yeah. Arrow there at the moment as well. Mm. I don't know. Tough, tough for him. You know, young Talis Duncan, I think, had a bit of a tough night, and he's, you know, which is obviously hard to go in and own a starting spot like that. Yeah. You know, he'll, he'll be better for the run, but, yeah, it's not great if you're a South fan. So, And coming up against the Roosters, who would be licking their wounds after... Jeez, yeah. what about Manly? Most all game, they were, ve- they were very... They were unlucky not to win by more, Manly. They had a yeah. couple of mm. attempts that were disallowed, and um, you obviously saw the, the first try here that was given for Lockie Croker. That, um, <laughs> what, what did you make of the contact between Tedesco and Trebojevic? I, I didn't think there was much in it. I didn't think there was much in it at the time. I don't think there's much in it now. Mm. Mm. I mean, the, Manly deserved to win this. I, I, it was funny in the Just second half. You, you, I was on the sideline for this game, and Manly at times in recent years have been a bit... Um, Mentally weak, I reckon. Mentally fragile. Mm. Yeah. And that second half, you kept waiting for the Roosters to score a try and Manly to wilt a bit. Mm. But yeah. you know what? Manly just gave them nothing. Oh. Didn't yeah. let them back in the game at all. The first couple of minutes of that second half, where they just went bang, bang, yeah. bang, and hammered them that first set. They had ninety percent of the ball in the first ten minutes of the second half. Yeah. Oh, the Roosters didn't get out of their twenty no. metre mark. That first five tackles. How does that happen to a Rooster side like that after half time? And I reckon what summed up the ruthlessness, oh. right, was Hamoli. Just bat- battering. We love Luke Kiry. He's one of the great blokes <laughs> yeah. in rugby league, right? Yeah. But you had to feel sorry for Luke Kiry oh. because Hamoli yeah. just made it his mission. Yeah. yeah. And poor old Luke, he just kept throwing himself in front of him. <laughs> and you'd yeah. see him, he'd pick himself up. But they just kept going. It was ruthless yeah. mm. the way they did it. Um, yeah, but it was unbelievable. And He's so good to watch him on the other oh too, though. He's, so he's, good. If I'm Luke Kieran, I'm looking at the guys and saying, come on, you know he's yeah. coming my way. Yeah. You know, it was inevitable that he was going to But he had four blokes on him. It wasn't just Luke. <laughs> yeah. He's carrying over the side. I mean, he's gone up and up. If he doesn't play Origin mm. this year, mm. yeah, Madge has he, lost his marbles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, apparently he was pretty, he was pretty close yeah. last year. Disappointed not to get that call up from Freddie. So I'm pretty yeah. sure Madge is watching yeah. quite closely. But even that, Jake Trebojevic, you know, he's... Him as a ball handler in the yeah. middle, just tremendous. And um, Paseca has gone up a notch. Paseca was just that hit that he put on. Um, who did he knock over? Um, was it Tupanua or he, oh, he crashed into someone who did yeah. flailing backwards and wow. Yeah. And then Ben Trebojevic is looking yeah. at home on that edge. Um, mm. You know, the Luke kid named Luke Brooks is going right as oh, well, isn't he? Oh, what yeah. about? Hey, I tell you what, if he didn't have a celebratory barbecue last <laughs> night, then you know, oh, the that barbie. thing's that thing's the gone to waste. Barbie. Yeah. Well, yeah. how, how good um, is Lachlan Croker going too? Yeah. Mm. He's had a it's pretty good start to the season. It's funny you speak to people at Manly about players they can't afford to lose. Yeah. They'll tell you Lachlan Croker's yeah. one guy yeah. they cannot afford to lose because yeah. they, they don't have a backup for him. Yeah. Well, that's, um, wasn't Jamie Humphreys sort of yeah. being groomed as a, as a hooker now? He was, now? I think, but I'm not, not sure if he's ready to come in and replace yeah. him full time. And I think Lachlan's the glue in that joint. Yeah, um, yeah he really is. You know, holding them together. So he's one guy they really can't, can't afford to lose. But... They, oh man, they're just playing great footy, aren't they? They look yeah. so good in the moment, Manly. They yeah. do. Tommy looks good. I mean, second half particularly, I thought Tommy looked as though he mm. had the acceleration back. Um, you know, Daly never... Daly's like a fine wine, you know, gets getting yeah. better with every year. Yeah. Um, Alloye was terrific. I, Jeez, he made some... I tell you, he was great. Tolu Cooler. Marking yeah. Joey Manu. Did yeah. a number on Joey. Didn't he, Just? I mean, defensively, we all talk... Look at 
Tolu Kula and go, man, that guy's blisteringly fast mm. and yeah. great with the ball in hand. But the defensive job he did on Joey Manu, the best centre in the game, yeah. um, he did a great job on Joey. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what about anything on Tommy Talao? That was disappointing to see yeah. him come yeah. off with that Dis- ankle. Well, dislocated, they said dislocated Ooh. ankle. Oh, it was dislocated. Yeah, okay. dislocated. So that's, and he looked that's like so he was enjoying yeah. himself yeah. out there. And for a kid who's had... Yeah. Jeez, he's had some terrible mm. injury yeah, luck. Yeah, God, yeah, that's yeah. terrible. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Jeez, you know, manly flying. Um, and as, as for the Roosters, yeah, oh, it's funny because... Spencer Lenu out, which was a loss. They moved Terrell May into the starting lineup. I thought Terrell was obviously great That's in round true. one. And it was like it was good yesterday. Yeah. Um, but they were just they were just they were out muscled, which you don't you know with a team that has Radley and Hargraves and God, you don't see that happening to, to them too often. But you know going to going to a lot of land. I didn't really understand the use of the interchange bench. Well, I mean, Brenda Smith was off for thirty. Massive minutes in the middle of the game, yeah. Mm. When, you needed some, when they needed some momentum and they started to get a little bit, he wasn't on the field. Mm. And, and they, they seem to interchange their edge back rowers all the time. You know, like the, obviously, they carry one on the bench. They carried, I can't remember who they carried yesterday. Was it, it was Butcher, oh. right? Now Butcher was Butcher, carrying on the yeah, bench. And, yeah. um, and then Radley defended on an edge at times. And I don't know. The yeah. Brandon one gets me, though. I mean... Yeah. The game was gone by the time I think he came back into the game. Didn't he come back in with five, ten to go, Brandon? Yeah, yeah. it was it was a Man. weird. Yeah, a lot of questions because they were they were super impressive in Vegas. Oh yeah, mm. really good. Yeah, the Roosters. And then you know welcoming Brisbane back. Brisbane didn't throw much. I thought Brisbane were pretty poor in Vegas. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they, and their whole when when Brendan Piakura went off and Paddy Carrigan had to play on an edge. Yeah. It threw everything out. And you saw how valuable Paddy is to them when he plays in the middle on mm. Thursday night. So mm. And Piakura maybe, I thought he was good in yeah, coming back. Maybe we, maybe it was a bit of a false impression we got out of Vegas just mm. because the the way Brisbane had to restructure their side. But yeah. um you know, they came back to earth a bit mm. yesterday, the Roosters. Didn't Manly, they just? Manly were Manly were much better. Manly, Manly deserved to win that footy game. Yeah. yeah. Um, Fatima has said, if I don't talk about this, she'll walk. Uh, yeah, the Canberra Raiders. <laughs> oh, they're on fire. They are on fire. Throwing a weight around saying, it's got to be on the run sheet. It's got to be on the run sheet. Aren't they leading the ladder at the moment after two rounds, scoring yeah. a whole bunch of points? Yeah. Um, yeah, they just, they, they look good. Did I mean, you have I them in your right, Canberra? <laughs> no. Oh wow! Is this your Sorry. bottom eight now? I reckon if the bottom nine, you're you're <laughs> you leave them out of eight. So you should have in. Did you, you have back your team? They're not my team. I'm a Broncos man. I had the Broncos in the eight. Oh, I thought you were a manly man. Did you have the ma- manly? Manly, I had in the eight. Yeah. Oh, did you? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Did you have the eels in the eight? Of course. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Please. Um, we're loyal. Y- you know, yeah. We're loyal. <laughs> I never win a tipping comp. <laughs> no. 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 Never claim I'm disloyal. Um, I did the opposite of drinking the the Kool Aid. I actually tipped against them in round one, oh, wow. and then they won. And I could count on one hand how many times <laughs> I've tipped against them and then winning. So then I was like, oh, does that mean I have to tip against them every round now to Don't keep the roll the going? No, I didn't. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> She's not silly. <laughs> yeah, I got that silly. Um, yeah, they just they just look good. I mean, a bit like Manly, their forward pack is standing up, and that's going to be key to them, especially um, the fact that they do have some inexperience in the spine. You know, um, Jamal Fogarty has outstanding, outstanding again, mm. great kicking game. Um, Strange has been Strange good. Strange has been really been good. But, um, just so tough. Yeah. So tough. Oh. That's, what, that's what's been really good about him to see, both like on both sides of the ball. Like he, he's, he's courageous, right? He yeah. isn't afraid to take on the line, but then he isn't afraid to put his body on the line in defence as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they look good. Smithies is looking good. It'll be yeah. interesting to see what um, Sticky does with Corey Horsburgh still to come back into that side. Um, what's I, their draw like? Who have they got, who have they got coming up that we know? Who have they got this week, uh, Canberra? Who do they have this week? week? No, yeah, Dolphins, Dolphins have the bye. bye. I should Sorry. know this. Who have Canberra got? Oh, the Warriors in Warriors, Christchurch. Well, that's a big, so that's, that's a big game. Yeah. Mm. You know, that, that, that will really sort of... Because the Warriors need to win. Yeah. Yeah. Desperately. Desperately. But, um, should have won. They should have been 2-0, the Warriors. That's, yeah. mm. Wow. How quickly things change. But you're right, Canberra were... The, Canberra really good, the Tigers. What did we make? Wait, um, Lockie Galvin. Oh, he big was tick. outstanding, Lockie Galvin. Massive. 
Yeah, he was really good. Up, yeah. he was outstanding. A, a running 5'8", yeah. who ran the ball yeah. over yeah. 100 metres. Um, one. Yeah, just looked dangerous. Yeah. Courageous. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Look, they were um, in it for a while, the Tigers. They were yeah. always going to be, be outclass, weren't they? Um, mm. They missed the jump, though, yeah. badly. Yeah. That's what killed them. Um, I don't know. Um, listening to Benji after the, after the game in the post-match, I, I was... Surpri- well, not surprised, but I thought it was interesting because he was asked about Caesar and why Caesar s- sort of started on the bench yeah. and what that was all about, and said something along the lines of, um, "You know, I said to Caesar before the game, I- I'm not sure exactly what your role is or how I'm going to use you." I thought that was interesting. Well, I'd spoken to Benji in the week about that, yeah. and he said what had happened with Caesar was he had, he had that injury problem. Was it a hammy or something? Uh, a hammy might have been. Yeah. He didn't think he'd be able to play 80, yeah. so he so he named him on the bench. Mm. Uh, in case they needed him. And I think it was pretty clear that Sullivan, like, that tap try they conceded, that was embarrassing. Ooh. Yeah. I'm not, and, you know, I think Caesar's a better option than Sullivan. So Benji, I think his fear was that Caesar wouldn't last mm. the 80, mm. so they carried him on the bench in the game. If they needed him, they'd use him, and they needed him. Yeah. Um, and I'd, he'll be, I'd imagine he'll be the halfback this week. Yeah. You've yeah. got to make that change. But, so. And I would have thought Galvin keeps his spot at six. Does, yeah. he, does he carry Bud Sullivan on the bench? I, I don't know. Or does he yeah. go in another direction? I, um, but there was there were some things to like about the way they played the Tigers, mm. but lots of things not to like. Yeah. You know? Such so, as? Well, they lacked a bit of... I mean, their first... How long? 15... When did they get... was 14, 12 nil? Yeah. They got blown away early. I mean, mm. their start was horrendous. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they look competitive for in patches. That's the, well, that's you know, you're the, watching them, you're going, oh, hang on, the yes. Tigers are showing something here. But but this is the Tigers. That's the way they've been for a decade. Yeah. <laughs> they look competitive in patches, and then they yeah. they just lack resilience and mm. when it's needed. Um, and I'm sure that's what Benji's working on now, really. You know, they've... They obviously, obviously need more talent, but you're not going to be able to fix that now. So you just got to fix the attitude and the and the intangibles, yeah. right? Because um, you can't go out and get players now. It's too, mm. you know, they're not yeah. going to be able to get anyone. Mm. So you know, this, they've just got to get through this year. Jerome gets there next year, and there'll be a different team. Yeah, because Jerome Buller showed again that you yeah, know, geez, he's freakishly talented. They need to hang yeah. on to him. I mean, he's signed on for a couple of years. Yeah, so the okay. worry for them is that. Um, and this is going to bubble all year. The worry for them is that um, they keep going the way they are, keep playing poorly, and Stefano He's another um, has got that clause in his contract and says, I've had a gut for this, I don't need this, and mm. come July or August when they're out of finals mm. contention, mm. he goes and explores his options, finds another club, and he's Gonski. Yep. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of clubs that need a forward. And, you can't, and then it's so late in the year, mm. it's really hard mm. to replace him because... You know, they're going to have 800 grand burning a hole in their pocket and no one to spend it on. That's the issue. That's the one of those underlying issues they're going to face during the mm. season. Because, mm. as Fatima said, there's clubs with cash to oh. burn. And if, they, if there's no one on the market, they're going to yep. front end deals so they're yes. going to have a stack of cash for next season to throw, mm. it, throw at them. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. The the other guys, the, the other forwards, what you make of the, the Tigers? Because once they got back to 14 12, I thought. Yeah, they could show something here, but they just got Canberra just ran over the top mm. of them again. Yeah. Papali'i, Josh Papali'i, oh. my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't. I never publicly bagged him or anything because, but a, a lot of people. Does that mean you have privately? Or? <laughs> no, I, I was. I was thinking. Oh, geez, you know, he only bags you by closed doors. Oh, I punch someone in the face when you can kick him in the back. You know? yeah, know. It's a coward's way. But, yeah. but after Origin last year, when he was left, you know, he will retired from yeah. Origin mm. or whatever mm. it was, and then. Focus on your club footy. He's getting a little bit older. Oh, will, yeah. will he have the same impact? And tell you a lot what. of people were saying, you know, will he have the will he have the same impact? And you know, what does it mean with sort of does Corey Horsburgh uh, with Smithies there? Does Corey Horsburgh go into mm. the prop rotation and sort of pop the he goes onto the bench and the rest of good. it? Yeah, they but, got a good um, pack. They got a great pack. Yeah, uh, maybe you know, it's very on brand for Sticky. Maybe he showed him some of the commentary about you know what people think he's going yeah. to deliver this year, and it, it's fired him up. Motivational so. speaker, Michael Carianas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They've actually got a better side than I think a lot people of people realize. anticipated, right? Yeah. Because, you know, Xavier Savage looks like he's, he's back to being too. the player he was. Yep. Um, Ethan Strange has come through, and I think that's caught everyone off How guard. How strange a little bit. is that Xavier Savage thing, though? Yeah. You had that great year. Yeah. Do not play for, yeah, but one first grade mm-hmm. game one last game, year yeah. and reserve grade the entire year, and not even. You were the fullback the previous year. You yeah. go on the wing in reserve grade, mm. and then you're back in showing everyone what yeah. you're capable of. Can't beat yeah. speed. 
can't yeah. beat speed mobs. But I love that too. Is, is probably you know good coaching on on Sticky's part because people were asking that question like what's what's Savia Savage doing in, in New South Wales Cup and he sort of resisted and he resisted convinced that he wasn't ready just yet and a, 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 the, sort of that knock on him a bit like Terrell Sloan was a bit maybe he was a bit you know. I don't mm. want to use the word soft, but, you know, didn't necessarily like the contact or wasn't so great in the contact, need to toughen up a little bit. So he gave him that season and he's, you know, look, he doesn't look out of place in that yeah. t- side anymore. So, yeah, it's probably a bit of good coaching on, on Sticky's part. How do you rate Matt Timico? Oh, good, really good yeah. player. Really good player. Um, on his way to becoming an elite centre. He's mm. playing rep footy now. Who did he play for? It? Did he play for the Kiwis? I can't remember last year. Oh, sure. He played some rep footy. Um, he's a really high-class centre. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. Another really high-class centre. I'm going to Google that real quick while we're talking. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Good segue to another really high-class centre. Uh, Isaac Tungo uh, mm. starred in the Panthers, went over the Eels. Uh, Bailey Simonson, head knock at the... Uh, yeah, he played for New Zealand three tests last year. There you go. So he's yeah. test football. Mm. Yeah. He'd want to be good. Yeah, well. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, just saying the Eels, <laughs> their left edge was sixes and sevens. They tried hard once. Yeah. But once Simonson went off, they shift Kel Matulu-Lungy there, then he does the shot. They shift Bryce Cartwright there, and Isaac Tunga had a field day down that right yeah. side. Um, I don't think Parramatta will be too disappointed. I know it sucks losing to... Uh, Penrith, oh, dear, <laughs> it sucks. But um, it sound, I didn't see the game. But it sounds like they were. You know better than me. It sounds like they were really competitive for yeah, a while. Yeah, they game. were. Mm. They always give Penrith a hard time. But yeah. this is the thing that happened last year when they p- play well, so and then don't win games. And but you know, I don't think it's panic stations by any stretch. Um, it was. Interesting. Tungo's really interesting, right? Because um, they've just extended him for a long time on big, big bucks. Mm. And they've got Taylor May, they haven't extended yet, who I'm sure looked at that and went, well, if he gets 7 seven fifty, I'm mm. worth 7 seven fifty. Mm. And you've Don't just you extended... I mean, Taylor May on round one yeah. is outstanding. Well, 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 yeah, I think there's a, a bit to be said with the fact that they sort of extended Paul Allen yeah. there. But May missed a whole season with an ACL, so maybe, like, yeah, he is probably due for an upgrade, but are we talking... Tungo areas? Well, even you know, it's that's not Tungo money. I mean, he's in the vicinity, right? Is he? Yeah. Well, he's, he's a good football. I'm not saying he isn't, but... Well, is well you he? are. <laughs> no, but, no, I'm saying there aren't that many $750,000 a year centres. No, it's not. Is, is May mm. up there, especially after missing a whole season of an ACL? Well, I'm sure his management probably think he is, right? Of course right? his management. His management's going to squeeze him. They'd be him if they didn't think that. So, But having said that, it, I, I, you know, it's one of those things, too, if he does go to the market, that he probably is going to get a significant upgrade to what he is now but whether um Penrith have that sort of money is another story because they've very mm. been very open and honest even going back to their negotiations with Luai that they sort of only have a certain amount of space in the cap to to work with so um yeah, yeah it'll be interesting to see yeah he did um May did post on um social media sort of after the after the game on Friday night, some lovely photos of him with his little family there, and there was that a little hashtag that said "Last Ride," so a lot of people oh, raised okay. some eyebrows. You kept that one cool. No, I did make some. Phone, I, I tried to make some phone calls about it, but I didn't. Couldn't get onto his manager, so that's an. We love a cryptic Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah. Post, but I wasn't sure whether it was like an anime reference because he's big on that, or whether oh, there was a bit more to that. I don't understand this. Pen bikes seem to love anime. What the hell yeah. is that stuff? It's so a cartoon, my, right? It's so does my fourteen-year-old daughter. Really? I don't get it either. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah she's very much into it, and I show her some of the stuff that Jerome Lewis posts. She goes, "Oh yeah, I like that." I was, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I'm sure they've got another centre coming through somewhere. They've got Alamotti, obviously. Yeah. But I'm sure they've got a million centres mm. coming through to replace Taylor Jesse Made McLean the track. coming through. Jesse Are McLean. They young, they've got you know, oh, a couple of McLeans, young, isn't yeah. there? Is it two McLeans? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. The other one's a gun too. Is a case here. Yeah. yeah. He's a gun as well. They yeah. should be getting no sympathy from me. No. But, uh, but, no. uh, but then again, they play the Broncos this week, and so both grand last final rematch. Winners, grand final rematch. Mm. Yeah, good. A bit under man, yeah. So James Fisher Harris, good news there. Um, not as bad as I first thought. I rang them this morning, the Panthers, and they're still uh, hopefully in the next. 24 hours or so, they'll sort of have a time frame. Very unlikely for this weekend, but no structural damage, so he won't be out long term, which is a massive boost for their overall mm. title chances. Like, you yeah. know, if he was out long term off the season, you'd think 
that would really hurt their chances. Having said that, speaking of good tries, I'm not in any way claiming it's in Xavier Coates areas, but how good was Moses Leota's uh, try, oh, yeah. sort of that individual effort, that step that he put on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. That was, was not um, on the run sheet for it, Tamer. It was, it's not on the run sheet, but I just, you know, you that love That turn of it. foot, that step in the... Honestly, he, he stepped Joey Lusick out of his underwear. Yeah. And then the turn <laughs> of pace to go over and place so untouched. It was yeah. ridiculous. It's that been, was, hmm, yeah. Sorry. Things I didn't see coming in that game. That was, yeah, wow. He was... What a great forward. He's, he he's terrific. He's very good, Leota. Yeah. Yeah. It's been robbed of a few stars at that game because Adam Reynolds won't play, surely, will he? Yeah. Has he been officially so ruled out I think yet? Adam Reynolds has been officially ruled yeah, out. It's okay. Payne Haas that they're sort of yeah. Yeah. neither Jock here Madden. or there about. Jock Madden comes in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big task. Um... Yeah. I think it's yeah. where's that game? Is it Pen- Penrith? Blue Bet. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Blue Bet Thursday night. It'll be a sellout. Yeah. Well, it's got a couple of big games early in the week in there. South Roosters. Yeah. You think about going to that game. South mm. Roosters. Have we got a sellout for uh, Roosters Rabbitohs at Alley? Do we know? I don't know. Yeah, I haven't looking. checked. No, I haven't Hello. checked. I don't know. I might What's check it? that today. Mm. I think it might be. <laughs> you'd, you'd think so. What do you think? What's it hold down at that ground? Forty-five or something? Yeah, you think that? You think they get the job done? Yeah, big, yeah. big, big week for sellouts because Parramatta Manly will sell out at Combank. Oh, that'd be huge, won't it? Um, Is that Sunday, other? Yes, four o'clock. Nice. Um, night Storm six fifteen up there at uh, McDonald Jones. Not a great time, nah, but they not get a big crowd. They, they get, get a well crowd. over twenty for that. Bulldogs mm. Titans at Belmore. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's a bell. Oh, sorry, it's a bell. Yeah. I didn't say yeah. sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's a bell. Can we? Can we? Uh, what can a bell to post production and get that mocking tone from Reedy taken out. No, I'll get him to cover that game. Go to Belmore. No, <laughs> no, it'll be it'll be a good. Oh, I was, was at the Bulldogs game on Friday night. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. should be good. It would be good fun out at Belmore. It's they like, had a go. They multi- had a go. It's, multi- it's, multi- it's, it's multicultural around this, this, this Oh, that's week. true. I saw so they put a up... a bit of fun and lots of colour they, They've stretched themselves. And... They put up three players for media this week, Canary. Good Ooh. on them. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Have you ever seen the club flout the media rules as much as them? No. They do one media session a week. They put up three players. What do you Hello? mean? Hello? You're I supposed to put up two lots of four every week. Two lots of four, Speak for yourself. I get on okay with... With the well, that's fine. If you're happy for them to flout the rules and <laughs> thumb their nose at us, good uh, for you, bro. Anyway. Before you go, what are your thoughts on the Vili Army kick out no try when mm. uh, referee got in the way? Referee got in the way. Well, it's the rule. You weren't stopping him with a sledgehammer it's that far. Rule, it's the rule, Mobsy. Oh, it's the rule. It's the rule. There's no, there's 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 no the way. It's grey. It's black oh. and white, baby. No try. Jeez, they had a go, though. They, was, yeah, they had a red hot go. Mm. Yeah. There's signs of improvement. Yeah, 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 I was annoyed for my super coach team definitely with that with that no try, but yeah, I didn't Mate get Burn it. Mate Burn was good. He Mate was. Burn was really good. He was ran the ball. Yeah, on right. the ball, son. Yep, and in the middle of the field in that second half, when I thought Critter looked a little tired on the left, there, there was a couple of sets where he wasn't hmm. involved too much in the play. And Burton, Kurt, man, the guys in the middle were working their butts off to get him back in that game. I thought, geez, yeah. he, he, he played well, he uh, played Burton really and good. Kurt, man. Mm. I thought they, were, they had good games. So Yeah. Um, well, they should. Oh, they might get Fox back this week. Actually, that's another one I'll chase up. Yeah. 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 But um, encouraging signs. I mean, you're beaten by 19 because the Sharks just ground him out. Yeah. Late, which, yeah. They've got to beat the Titans, don't they? Do you say it was the Titans on Saturday? Yeah. 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 Do they? I don't know. <laughs> Got it. If they play like they did, if they play like they did on Friday, yeah. they yeah. should be. The Titans were pretty deplorable yeah. in mm-hmm. round one. Yeah, I'm sure they won't be that bad again because Desi's had a couple of weeks to work on them. Mm. But so, <laughs> Dragons thrash Titans. Yes. Dolphins thrash Dragons. The so Dolphins should absolutely. They should win by 60 against the Titans. <laughs> so, but we saw around two North teams that bounce back from, you know, uh, yeah, it's going to be... a bit of a low old game, isn't it? Can we, can we go, Coast? Oh. Oh. One day, it was only on Saturday, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. All right, well, let's go chase up this Lachlan Ilias stuff and see where things are at, because big news coming out of that this yeah. week. So, Huge. Um, I hope he's OK. I hope they're looking after him, because mm. he's, he's a lovely kid, Lachlan Ilias. Yeah, good. Great good. kid. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll Thank catch you. you on Thursday's show, and uh, we'll have to get Reedy back for some culinary delights. I'll be missing them. Oh, I haven't done them this, right? Yeah. If I'm on Thursday, I'm going to have a special meal. Yes, a all special right. recipe, oh, okay. and it will involve lemon, rosemary, and garlic. Don't oh. worry. <laughs> <laughs> Could have just cut that from any of the previous episodes <laughs> you've been on. That's my thing. Right. All right, thanks, guys.